Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a piece of our computer setup that is mostly neglected, cheaped out on, and overlooked. And what happens is, is that when we don't think about this and spend the money on this like we should, it could lead to issues later on. Now as enthusiasts, we'll go out and we'll spend money on our, you know, on our computers. We'll get a nice graphics card, case, this, that, and the other. I mean, you guys seen a couple of videos. I had one customer spend $400 on a case. That's pretty expensive. I had another customer, I went to his house the other day and I spent, he spent $400 on a whole bunch of RGB stuff, fans and everything and all that type of stuff. But then when I looked at this piece of his setup, I mean, and I asked him, so he did confirm it. He got this from a thrift store for $20. And it's like, geez, this is not gonna be good for him later on. And from my experience, and I'll talk about it in just a sec, you know, had I had something that was better and actually spent the money on it, I think it could have helped reduce a bunch of the issues that I wound up with. So here's a little backstory on it. The year is 2021, I was a former police officer, and I got hurt at work. Totally sucked, and I wound up herniating my L5-S1. Excruciating pain, hard to walk, all that type of stuff. Went through therapy shots, all that type of stuff. Pretty much um, after six months of dealing with it, it was unbearable and the doctor said, yeah, you gotta have surgery. So the first surgery was a microdisectomy and pretty much they take uh, the piece of the disc that's herniating, they cut it out, it kind of heals and calluses itself and you're good to go. But the problem is, is that discs don't regenerate and when they don't regenerate, um, you still have that weak spot in your spine. Well, fast forward nine months after the surgery and recovering from it, I re-herniated the disc again, but this time it was completely blown out and the pain was worse and excruciating, very unbearable, went to therapy, all that type of stuff, and nothing was working. This time I could barely walk, I could barely function, barely do anything. I was in bed most of the time, couldn't even sleep. I mean, the pain was excruciating. Felt like somebody was setting my leg on fire while also poking needles into it. Yeah, that's the best way I can do it, just non-stop. So I had to have artificial disc replacement. I'll post a picture up here. This is the day after me having the surgery and as you can see, I'm walking, although it looks uncomfortable, I felt great. And I felt better than I've ever been. And I'll also post a picture of what my back looks like. They put a metal disc in there. So they take out whatever was left of the disc, they put this metal disc in there. So now I am part robot, that's right, part robot, but I don't have the Bluetooth feature, lame. Would have had to pay extra for that, no, just kidding. But it's been two years since that surgery. Life has been great. I would say I'm about 90% better than I was. Um, you'll never be 100%, but on the scale of what, zero to 100%, I'm 90 to 95% better. Some days where, you know, it aches a little bit, but I feel great. Now, you're probably saying, what does that have to do with our PC setup? And what I'm talking about is our chair. That's right, our chair. Many times people are quick to go with those cheap racing chairs, which are extremely uncomfortable, find cheap chairs at thrift stores or whatever they could get at Walmart for about 50 to $100, they sit in it, it's good enough. But the problem is, is that if you don't have a good chair that has support for your spine to help support the natural curve of your spine, what you're doing is, is you're putting unnecessary pressure on your discs, which weakens them, because think about it, you spend a lot of time on your computer and it weakens the disc. And then when you go out to do whatever activity, moving a chair, working on your car or anything that's laborious, then the disc is weakened and you can herniate it. And it happens all the time. Most people have some mild herniations. Most people just have bulging disc. I had complete herniation, but we spend so much time on our computers either gaming, some people programming, streaming, whatever type of stuff. And if you don't have a chair that's gonna provide you that proper support, then you're gonna lead, it's gonna to lead to back issues like I had years later. Now, of course, other ways to prevent this from happening is also good exercise and conditioning, which I spend my time doing now to make sure I don't have any further back issues, which I highly recommend. But since I am no longer um, a police officer anymore, I'm spending more time editing and on the computer doing stuff. And recently, well, Sitting on my computer chair for a while, it's starting to hurt the back a little bit. So time for a new chair. Flexi Spot reached out to me. They're the ones that send me the desk and let me show you what we got. So before we dive into that chair real quick, let me show you the chair I've been using. I've been using this for about six years and this chair is completely worn out. Um, it's a Serta and everything. It was a good chair, but it is worn out. No more lumbar support. The cushion on the bottom is just gone and done. I mean, I feel like I'm just sitting, well, I pretty much am sitting on the metal of it. So it's worn out. And if I continue to use a chair like this, it's gonna hurt. 
So let's go back to the chair that we're gonna switch out to. And once again, my dog is just laying down, doing nothing. Dog, what do you think? What's going on, dog? Do we need to upgrade the chair? My dog ignores me. So this is the chair. Well, not really. It's the box with the chair in it. So it's the FlexiSpot C7 MB Foam FT, ergonomic chair. So before I can show you it, I gotta build it. So let's switch to a quick build montage, read the destructions, and put it together. I build this stuff in the garage and then I realize it needs to go inside the house. So yeah, I should have built this in the house. Good thinking, good thinking. Don't know why, don't know why. Yep, ergonomic chair to help the back, but it's heavy. Back surgery number 10. At least it rolls nice and easy. Move out the way. Thank you. All right, so let's move you out of the way. Old Faithful. She's just a little tired and worn out. And let's move you back in. Well, move you in for the first time. All right. Feels good. I like it. This is what's kind of cool about it. I don't know how much I'll often I'll use it, but you know, if I'm just sitting here hanging out, folks, footrest. And the way it's positioned, it feels nice on the back. Got the lumbar support, which is not too bad. Typically with lumbar support, I find them to be a little harsh, but this one works. This is comfy. Not too bad. So of course, let's see how it feels in front of the computer. But this, just fold this in, all right. Yeah, this is a lot better for computing in the sense that that one I felt like I had to slouch just to get comfortable, but this one I feel like I have to sit properly to feel comfortable. Number one, you got the lumbar thing that's giving you the support, so that feels kind of nice, but like sitting properly feels comfortable and it feels really good. So obviously this is not a solution or a cure-all for back problems, but it is something that can help you if you do have back issues or even prevent you from having back issues. Like I talked about, the biggest issue is sedimentary lifestyles. Many of us have jobs where we sit, especially now remote work from home, where you have to sit in front of your computer and work for long periods of time. And if you're sitting for a prolonged period of time and you're sitting in a chair that doesn't have lumbar support, then you're gonna put unnecessary pressure on the disc, wear them out prematurely, and then when you go to lift, or do something to potentially herniate your disc. My doctor told me one time a story where he had a guy that bent over to pick up a pencil and he blew out his disc. Why? Because his disc was worn out from years of sitting in front of a computer. So definitely something to consider. Now with this, we have our lumbar support. We have a nice mesh cushion, 5D armrest, which I will say I do like that, you know, it does a lot of different things as far as moving, but I wish they would lock in place because when I sit in it, they just kind of move, but that's fine. Adjustable back support, which I like about this, depending on your height, you can actually move this up and bring it down, just depending on your height. Adjustable headrest, pretty nice, good support on there, and the footrest. 
And because the way this chair is made, it forces you to sit in an ideal position that is better for your back, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable and that's something I like. Since I've been home doing uh, YouTube editing and all that type of stuff, my old chair has really worn out and even though it looks comfortable, I can promise you the cushions are done with it. So next time you're upgrading your setup or investing in your PC setup, why not invest in a good chair that is comfortable? Invest in yourself, invest in your body, and it will pay dividends. So with all that being said, I'll post the link if you're interested in this chair down below. Thank you to FlexiSpot to, for sending this for this channel. Although it is a review and they sent it to me, this is something that I am passionate about because I've dealt with back issues for many years and anything that I can share or I can do to help my back issues or even educate you guys and show you guys what you can do to help prevent back issues, I'm all about it. So comment down below, let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticisms. What is your gaming chair? Is it something that you've cheaped out on? And any recommendations for a gaming chair that you think of? If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and as always, We'll see what we come up with next.